What's up guys? So I wanted to record a quick video to show you how to really navigate the Robinhood app. It's going to be the same no matter what trading platform you use to buy and build your portfolio. Um, they're going to be similar things. So if you're using Robinhood or if you're using the Prosper app, but this is based on the Robinhood app. Once you log into the app itself, you're going to be um, at the main home page, right? It's going to show you at the very top how much money you have invested. Um, and then the numbers underneath show you your percentage of gain or loss today okay so you can see right now in this current account that i'm looking at there's 450 dollars invested and we, we're down two dollars and 83 cents today or 0.62 percent today okay now what you want to do is you want to scroll down and it's going to show you all of the stocks that you have okay it's going to show you all the stocks in your portfolio now let's just take a look at one of them let's just look at sound for instance or yeah let's just look at sound so you can find it here you can see that currently i have 2.65 shares of sound and it's six dollars and six cents currently so let's look a little deeper into our holdings in that one particular investment so if i click on it it's going to bring you to the page it's going to show you the name of the the the, the asset the current price it's going to show you as well if you're up or down today. So you can see we're down 8% or 54 cents in this actual investment. But if you scroll down, this section says your position. This is important. It tells you how many shares you currently have. So you can see right now in this portfolio, I've got 2.64723 shares. The average cost that I bought this particular asset at is about six dollars and 86 cents okay um the market value is 16 dollars right now that means at the current price the market value is at 16 dollars and it's saying it's about six percent of my portfolio it shows you today's return it shows that i'm down a dollar 64 in this investment today which is down 9.28 percent but total in this investment i'm down two dollars which is 11 percent now here's what i want you to think about right here's some information that you want to look at and you're going to get familiar with as you do this over time so you can see that it cost me six dollars and 86 cents on average for the shares when i bought it but if you look at the top of the screen the current price of this asset is six dollars and six which is lower than what i bought it which shows me that this investment is going to be down because i paid more for what the current value is don't worry about that. The price of stocks of companies change every day. So some days it's up, some days it's down. This asset was $8 earlier this week, but of course it comes, it came down to $6. I'm not going to panic though, because this is a long-term asset that I believe in. I believe in this company and I'm actually going to keep accumulating now. The good thing about this is earlier this week, this price was up to about $8, right? And now it's down to six. So I can actually buy more now at a better price. So you want to think the reverse of what most people think. You want to always buy and invest when the prices are low and you want to sell when the prices are high. So you don't want to buy stocks or buy investments at the highest price. You want to wait for them to come down so you can actually get it at a discount. So this shows you your position. So if you are trying to figure out if you're up or down in a particular stock, you come here and you take a look right here at your position. If you scroll more on the page, it's going to tell you more about the actual company, right? So you can see about Soundhound. It tells you what the company does and you can see some information about it, right? The stats will show you, you know, the last trading day, this stock opened at $6.18, Okay, the highest it went on Friday because the market is closed today as I do this video was $6.54. But you can see that in the last 52 weeks, in the last year, this stock actually got as high as 1025 and it went down as low as 149. We're in right now at about $6. So we're at a good place. Imagine this investment goes back up to $10. You're going to be in profit, massive profits in your portfolio. It also shows you the market cap. That's something that's super important when you're looking at companies. Market cap tells you how much this, this company is valued at in the marketplace based on the amount of shares. So you can see this company is right now valued at about $1.91 billion, okay? Average volume means is how much trading happens on a daily basis in this actual stock. So about $119 million is traded every day in this particular um, company, okay? 
Robinhood also has some things like trading trends. It's telling you if people are buying, if they're selling. It tells you what analysts are saying about the stock, financial analysts. Right now, 66% of analysts are saying that this is a good buy. Okay, and these are some of the research you want to be doing when you're looking at the different companies that you're buying. Okay, so you can see when I actually purchased this buy, I spent $18.16 on the 29th purchasing this stock at $686. But you can see right now the market value is $16. So I'm down $2. Okay, but guys, I'm going to keep buying this until I have, you know, first 10 shares of this stock. Then it's going to be 100 shares of the stock. And that's how you keep in gr growing your portfolio. And you can do this with all of the different assets that you own. If we take a look at Ocogen, for instance, okay, this position, I have 21 shares of Ocogen. The average cost was 94 cents. Right now, Ocogen is $1.67 a share. So I'm up in this um, investment because I bought it at 94 cents, but right now it's $1.67 a share. So you can see the market value of my position is now $35. And if you look at the total return, I'm up 76%, $15. So I want you to think about this. Check this out. If you look at this, right? If you take a look at this, when I actually purchased this stock, I spent about 20 bucks. But now the market value is 35 so I'm up $15 in this one investment. Where else can you put money and get 76 return on investment? Imagine, guys, we're just starting out. So this portfolio is small, just $20. I'm just trying to show you that you can start investing with as little as you have. But I want you to think about this. Imagine if I had made the same investment for $1,000 in the same one company. If I had bought $1,000 worth of this stock and it's up 76%, I would be up $760 in profit. So I invested $1,000 in February and would have been up almost a double the money, $760 in less than a month. Where else can you do that? That's the power of investing. That's the power of putting your money to work for you. And I want you to really embrace this journey and make sure that you're investing over and over and over again. Every time you get paid, put some money in your account. Even if you don't know what to buy yet, keep buying more of the stocks that we're currently, we currently own, okay? Right now, this, this has $450, but as this year progresses, I'm going to keep loading this account up, but we're going to have thousands of dollars in this account, and it's going to be money that's growing. We're going to talk about on another video when to sell stocks. You're just getting started right now, guys. You shouldn't be thinking about selling yet. We're building and holding long term. We're building wealth. That doesn't happen overnight. It happens over time. So I hope this video was useful. Go ahead and you know like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and definitely drop in the comment section anything that you learn and talk to me about what companies you're actually buying right now in the stock market so that I can go take a look at it and see if it's something I want to add to my portfolio as well.